How is COVID-19 pandemic effect on global population mental health? COVID-19 pandemic has had a drastic effect on people's mental health, well-being and psychosocial outcomes worldwide. Under the pressure of their job workload and enormous obligation to tackle the pandemic, health care workers tend to experience elevated levels of stress and anxiety. They also experience a pronounced reduction in their self-efficacy, which continues to challenge their success and decision-making to a degree unparalleled. Due to staff shortage and resource shortages, the disrupted social support and sleep quality have turned their battle against COVID-19 into a nightmare. Most importantly, because the hospital setting is conducive to the emergence of nosocomial infections, health care workers face a high risk of contracting COVID-19. In fact, the extremely infectious nature of COVID-19 infection puts health care workers' lives at risk in a way that increases their predisposition to morbidity and mortality. Compliance with social distancing requirements and PPEs personal protective equipment significantly distresses the medical teams while increasing their fear and anger. The disturbed standard of sleep or sleep delay not only worsens their daytime behaviors but also decreases their attention and executive functioning. Xiao, Zhang, Kong, Li, and Yang, 2020. Ironically, patients diagnosed with COVID-19 and their caretakers report similar levels of stress and anxiety. The poor self-health status and physical symptoms in young patients, including coryza, dizziness, and myalgia, increase their depression, anxiety, and stress based on the adverse COVID-19 prognostic. Infected people's social stratification and balanced person's classification exerts a dramatic effect on their mental health and well-being. COVID-19 infection management team members are seeking to improve their social interaction across digital channels in the sense of enhancing their moral support that is needed to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. The healthy people's social isolation across the globe due to lockdown interventions often raises their risk of panic attacks and anxiety depression. The COVID-19 pandemic gradually begins to raise the risk of domestic violence and suicidal or homicidal attempts by the home-confined people. Global economic infrastructure's drastic slowdown, work loss, employment opportunities, and social constraints continue to deteriorate the mental health of teenagers, adolescents, youngsters, middle-aged people and elders around the globe. These findings include the design of remedial steps for the global society's fear and anxiety associated with COVID-19, Wang et al., 2020. At this point, the acquisition of social support seems impractical and alarming because the recommendations for the prevention of COVID-19 strongly recommend social distancing and isolation of both safe and infected people. How would you boost your mental health in the wake of COVID-19? Interestingly, clinical research based on evidence suggests practical interventions for improving the mental health of the world population. Below are some of these steps. Hiermuth, Koshik, Manjanath, and Shetara, 2020. 1. People need to understand their fears and face them while realizing that insecurities associated with COVID-19 exist with every human being on the globe. 2. Individuals of different age groups must optimize and orchestrate their daily living activities in order to quickly mitigate their levels of anxiety. 3. To improve self-discipline for handling COVID-related tension, division of the regular schedule into non-work and work time slots is highly required. 4. 
In general, a regular dedication to stress-breaking tasks is required in leisure time. For example, individuals will leverage their time of isolation to participate in their hobbies. It would boost their feeling of fulfillment and joy. 5. The separation of working hours into a few short breaks will not only increase the concentration of work but will also reduce tension and dissatisfaction. 6. Individuals will engage in various interactive platforms and customize social groups with the usage of digital media. Regular interactions between people in these groups may potentially reduce the strength of their social isolation. 7. Members of the family will spend more time with each other in their home detention after taking a few minutes out of their working schedule. 8. Interactions with social media, friends and family members through WhatsApp and Facebook can strengthen the sense of belonging and positivity among individuals. 9. Individuals in all age groups can optimize their cognitive mechanisms by choosing relevant assignments, interests or experiences to develop their knowledge and abilities. 10. Daily writing of feelings and ideas can often enable people to discover a variety of stress-busting techniques. 11. Individuals must develop their adaptability to boost their inspiration and attention rates effectively. 12. Young men, adults and elderly persons need to participate in the outdoor activity of their choosing to preserve their physical health and immunity. Regular relaxation or breathing techniques may theoretically improve their longevity and focus to a considerable extent. 13. Individuals must have realistic goals on the part of their family members and caretakers. They will also practice critical reasoning when empathetically communicating with each other to minimize the risk of violence and suicidal or homicidal tendencies. 14. Individuals in all age groups will maximize their pain level while at the same time defining their emotional and physical health priorities. 15. People should have enough sleep hours and follow a healthy diet to boost their immunity. 16. People should refrain from searching Google for symptoms of the disease and should not self-medicate in some cases. They will rely strictly on the recommendations of doctors and use the assistance of telemedicine to obtain medical advice. 17. People do not routinely search the data of COVID-19 and receive urgent professional attention when some cardiorespiratory symptoms have arisen. 18. Regular engagement in breathing exercises is strongly advised to counteract passive mental spirals. 19. Alcoholics and smoking addicts must take advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic as an opportunity to resolve their unhealthful behaviors. We need to use meditation to reduce their cravings for alcohol and nicotine effectively. 20. Alcoholics and nicotine addicts tend to remove themselves from their urge to drink or cigarettes when engaged in social conversations. 21. People have to understand that they are not alone in fighting COVID-19. We will communicate with health professionals their anxiety and anger, and take their recommendations for remediation. 22. People do not hesitate to share their thoughts with their loved ones or health care professionals to boost their level of motivation. 23. The prevention of financial pressure is important in raising the risk of depression and panic. Accordingly, people need to communicate with their financial advisors for planning their economic capital via an internet-based platform or phone.
They will need to look at the available earnings and investment options, and seek to improve their contribution to home-based earning opportunities. 24. People must not predict the future and refrain from knowing the global consequences of COVID-19. They will see the truth to stop wild speculation. They must also refuse unsubstantiated data on COVID-19 and avoid relying on social media content without expressing their suspicions. 25. People must keep their hopes alive and believe in any chance of a global recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic.